Hi guys! As technology continues to evolve, the demand for faster and more reliable network connectivity is ever increasing. So today, I'm going to explore the different types of 10G switches and their compatibility. And understanding the various types of 10G switches available in the market is crucial for building a robust and future-proof network infrastructure. And we love hearing from your feedback and ideas. So feel free to leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see more of on our channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. So first, let's define what 10G network switch is. Now, it is a high-speed networking device that enables the transfer of data at 10 gigabit per second. And it is designed to handle a large amount of network traffic and provide significantly higher bandwidth capacity. So it's particularly beneficial in environments with high data demand, such as enterprise network, multimedia application, and data centers. And also, there are different types of 10G switches available to various network requirements. Since there are too many, so I'm now I'm going to talk about a few of them. We have managed switch that can offer advanced managed feature like QoS, VLAN, SNMP, and etc. Stackable switch that can be interconnected with another switch to form a stack or a single logical unit fixed configuration switch that have fixed number of ports and cannot be expanded. It is suitable for small size network. And last but not least is the unmanaged switch. Now unmanaged switch can operate without any configuration. It's typically a plug and play device that required no setup. So now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'm going to show you the switches that we are using for today. So now let's discuss the important factors to consider when choosing a 10G network switch. First, is your network requirement and scalability. Evaluate the size of your network and expect to grow over time. Ensure the switch can mandate the number of devices and future expansion. Next, consider the port density and speed requirement. Determine the number of the port that you need and the speed that you require for each port. Consider the management and monitoring features offered by the switch. Now, managed switch can provide greater control over the network, allowing you to configure settings, monitor performance, and troubleshoot issues. While unmanaged switch can provide plug and play feature and easy installation. Last but not least, consider your budget. While 10G network switches provide significant advantages, they come at a higher cost compared to low-speed switches. Now determine your budget and prioritize feature based on your network requirement. And some of the switches support PoE. That means you can eliminate the need for a separate power unit at the edge. Now, it is essential to strike balance between functionality and affordability. And by carefully evaluating those factors, you can choose a switch that meets your network needs and future growth. So now let me showcase some of the switches that we have. This is a gigantic 24-port fiber optic SFP managed switch. It has 16 1G SFP ports, 8 1000M combo ports, 4 10GB SFP Plus port for high-speed connectivity. Total switching capacity of 128 gigabit per second. And the 10 gigabit per second network provides a large file transfer and network expansion. It is a cost-effective solution for SMB network to achieve the performance of 40 gigabit per second network by grouping the four 10G ports together. Also, it supports powerful L2 management, including traffic monitoring, QoS, VLAN, and etc. Provide redundant power with overload current protection to improve system redundancy and stability. 
Next, we have this 8 port, 2.5G and managed switch with 10G link. Now it has a RJ45 port, provide multi gigabit speeds up to 2.5 gigabit per second, high bandwidth workload. Plug and play installation does not require any configuration and support auto negotiation and rate adaptive feature. Now also it can provide up to 10 gigabit per second fiber optic link. Last but not least, we have this one. This is the 8 port 2.5 G PoE plus plus switch with 10 G uplink. It has a 2.5 G PoE port, a total power supply of 240 watts, and supply 90 watts maximum power output for port number 1 to 4, 30 watts of maximum power output for port number 5 to 8 and up to 60 gigabit per second of switching capacity. So we're using this one for our connection today. For today's connection, I'm going to connect the switch with the wireless SS point and a 4K IP camera. So now let's do the connection together. For our connection, we have the router to provide data. This is the 10G PoE++ switch and the NVR. Now when the PoE++ switch receives a 10G link, it can provide up to 2.5 gigabit per second network speed. So first, I'm going to connect our router with the switch first. And then using an other Ethernet cable to connect the switch with the NVR, since we're connecting to a camera. And now we are connecting to two devices at the edge, so I'm just going ahead to plug in two Ethernet cable. Let's plug them in here. Okay, let's come over to the edge. We have the wireless access point. This is a 2.5G wireless access point already connected to the cable. And now I'm going to connect to this 4K IP camera using a single Ethernet cable. Let's plug it in here. Since it provides PoE, that's why it can provide power and data at the same time using a single Ethernet cable. So now let's give it a little bit of time. See, the image is on. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the 10G network switches can provide significantly faster data transmission. Also, it can apply in different scenarios such as data center, multimedia streaming, video civilian, cloud computing, and virtualization. So now I'm going to give out some more consideration that we should keep in mind. First, vendor and product evaluation. You should compare the product specification and features for your special needs. And also evaluating customer support and make sure to choose one with warranty option. Next, planning for future network growth, bandwidth demand, and flexibility for technology advancement. Like you can support up to 40G or even 100G network infrastructure. So now, thank you very much for watching. Here's a video on how to build a 10G LAN, and it is a step-by-step -step guide.